Monday, everyone. I hope you all had a wonderful 4th of July yesterday. I know we did. We uh, cooked on the grill and enjoyed the beautiful weather. Today, I am going to share with you all a scrappy Christmas card. Remember, so during this month of July, I'm doing Christmas in July and giving you all kinds of great ideas for making Christmas cards. And today, I want to use up some leftover paper scraps. Um, when we cut up our designer series paper, our scrapbook paper, uh, we end up with a bunch of strips, especially that six by six paper. When you cut it down, you tend to have a lot of strips left over. So I have a card idea for you to use up those strips. Can't wait to share that with you. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Christina Reese. This is Creating... Goodness, this came out funny, didn't it? This is Creating with Christina. Um, I come live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here on my Facebook page to bring you card tutorials. And like I said, I'm going to share with you all how to make a Christmas card using up old paper scraps. So I see a lot of people joining me here today. Good morning, everyone. Um, before we get started, though, remember, I do have a new host code for July. Whenever you spend $50 or more before tax, I send you a nice thank you gift at the end of the month. Also, this is great because we are having a designer series paper sale right now. So when you go to the shop, uh, uh, you will see the first thing you're going to see is the designer series paper banner. And you can just click on that and it's going to take you right to the paper page that has all the paper and it shows you which ones are on sale. It's it's awesome. Okay, Some sales are the best, aren't they? And one more last thing. Um, don't forget during July, well, every month I do a card class and the card class I'm doing for Christmas in July is this card uh, kit right here. And to participate in this, all you have to do is go over to my blog and look up create a uh, creatingwithchristina.com and there up in the menu is a, a thing that says classes and you just click on that and you'll see Christmas in July 2021 for this Christmas card kit in the mail. All right, so let's get on with today's card. Here we go. We have, I'll make sure I get everything set here, all these paper strips. So this is the paper pack that um, goes with this is the paper pack that goes with the, um, what am I trying to say? Tidings of Christmas. There we go. And it is a six by six pack. And as I was making cards with it, I had a lot of leftover scraps and strips here. So I thought, let's make a card. So the first thing we're going to need is um, a white layer that is four by five and a quarter. Now it doesn't necessarily have to be a white layer because you're not going to see any of it, but um, you're not going to see any of it, uh, but I just use white because I have so much of it. So let me cut um, a piece. Make sure I'm doing this right. Yep. Okay. So I took my four and a half, my eight and a half by 11, and I am cutting it at four. There we go. By five and a quarter. There we go. So I have this layer base, and what I'm going to do very simply, is I'm going to glue all of these paper strips on here. Okay, <laughs> that's pretty simple. All right, here we go. Uh, move all this out of the way. Now, here's my, my card uh, base. My graph paper, grid paper is moving all around. But before I get started just gluing, I want to kind of put them in order the way I think they'll look best. Um, here's a couple of cardstock uh, leftovers and this is for punching out for later. All right, so here's all my strips and I want to start, um, let's start with, whoops, with this piece and then we can go to, and that is kind of big, but I can just put this one on top. Yeah, like that. And then let's go to, let's see what's on the other side of this. This one, let's see. There we go. Yeah, this is what's so fun. Uh, about doing, working with our paper is we've got both sides to play with. So if you don't find something, I'm looking for the tan, here we go. We have lots of tan. I may wanna cut that tan in half, yeah. Okay, and then let's go with this one. All right, we're there. Um, I'm gonna put a white one here uh, for, the, for the word Noel. Okay, so I'm gonna put that right there for my sentiment. Okay, 
And then let's do, let's see, I don't have any more tan, do I? Hmm. I've got this dark green. That'll work. Yeah, let's use the dark green. Okay. And let's do light green again. We've got the, I shouldn't call it dark green, light green. I should call it by its name. And that would be evergreen elegance and <laughs> soft succulent. It's hard to remember the names of these things. Okay, these cute trees here. Okay. Oh, you know what? Let's, yeah. Oh, well, the trees are sideways. I want the trees Excuse me as I flip this out. Yep, there we go. The trees are that way. And we'll put these stripes down here. Okay. Or maybe I should just do the red. I don't know. I got stripes everywhere. Okay, and then some red. Wow. That's that's a lot of strips. And like I said, some of them are kind of big. So let's cut some of these things in half. They're just too big. I need to take this piece of paper down. It keeps moving on me. There we go. Oh yes, get into that scrap box. Get into it. We don't want to waste anything. Here we go. Okay, I'm just gonna put that on there. Oh yes. Okay. And this one. Yeah, some of these were just a little too wide. There we go. And what were some other wide ones? This one was too wide. Hmm. There we go. And this one. I've got all kinds that need to be cut up, don't I? <laughs> but that's the fun of using scraps is, I mean, this is just making more strips for another card. I love it. All right, I think we're good now. Oh yeah, this dark green I didn't like. Too big, too big. There we go. So these are all inch pieces that I'm just cutting into half inch pieces. It works, there we go. Oh, come on, no. <laughs> I have so many strips now, I love it. Okay, and we need our tape runner, okay? Or liquid glue, either one is fine. I just like the tape runner. And we're gonna start at the bottom and we're just gonna start putting these on here. So we're just gonna run this across the bottom. Okay. And it doesn't matter if they're too long, we're going to trim it down. So there we go. All right, so we have our first strip on and then our next one. Now, of course, you don't need to run your tape runner all the way across if you want to save on adhesive. Um, you could just put it at the two ends of the card like this. So you just do a little here and a little here, and that'll be enough. All right, what's my next color I was going to do? This pretty succulent, soft succulent. Okay, and right now I'm just bumping them up next to each other. Um, I'm not doing any overlapping. I may do some overlapping, but I'm not sure yet. So what's the other side of this, that tan? Oof, I don't have much of this tan. I may need to cut some more. Okay, um, let's do, actually let's bring the trees down here. That'll be fun, okay. We're just changing everything up, aren't we? <laughs> but that's the fun of creating. It's just, you know, use your imagination. There we go. Looks good, looks good. Okay, let's do this one again. I love it. All right, and let's do a little tiny bit of red. Okay, so we're going to use this itty bitty piece right here. And it's a little... It's really little. I'm gonna get my silicone mat out so that I don't get adhesive um, all over the place, okay? Um, oh, well, it doesn't matter because I'm just gonna put another piece on top. What was I thinking? I'm sorry, okay. So we can do that. Excuse my babbling. <laughs> you all are listening to my mind work. That's kind of crazy, huh? There we go, okay. 
So now I want to make sure that we have room for our sentiment, okay? And this is the strip that our sentiment's going on. And I want to stamp on the sentiment before I put it down because if after I've created this, if I mess that sentiment up, that's it. I I I'm doomed. So we don't we don't want to uh, mess up on this. So let's get out our stamps real quick. Okay, and this stamp set, like I said, this is, I'm featuring today the Tidings and Trimming uh, Bundle. It's just beautiful. And uh, this paper coordinates with it also. And I'm using the word Noel. Okay, and I'm going to use the Soft Succulent. Okay, and I want it to be, oh, I don't know, maybe right here. That'll be good. Because I want to leave room for an image or something over here on this side of the card. Okay, now that I have my Noel on there, now I can put it on the card. So let me move this back out of the way and get my card back out. Okay. There we go. All right, and let's put some more adhesive down. Perfect, and let's see, we have a bunch of these red ones. Ooh, green stripes, that's pretty. Okay, let's do green stripes. Okay, and I'd like a clearer one, let's see. No, let's do i do some more green. We have this green, this green, and some more red. So this green and then red. Oh, we've used all those reds. Let's use this red. Is that how we want that? Or do we want the dark green? I think the dark green. I haven't really used the dark green. There we go. That and then the red. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Okay, let's do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the last one, okay. Whoops. <laughs> there we go, okay, so we've made our card layer. Whoops, uh, well I said we did, hold on. There we go, all right, we've made our card layer. Now see the back, we need to trim this. So get out your snips and just trim this up. Wow, you, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> I look up and I see y'all talking with each other. I love it. I love it. Oh, y'all are so sweet. Okay. Here we go. And we just trim this off. Come on. And then come to this side. And of course, you can take these little strips and make something out of them. You don't have to waste anything. And then my last one kind of went over. So we just need to trim a little bit there. Whoops. Perfect. So there we go. We have our card front layer. Uh, looks awesome. Move all this out of the way. There we go. Back to our working surface. Okay. So um, real recap real quick. So you're going to get out your paper strips and you're going to have a four by five and a quarter base or layer to adhere all the strips onto. Um, kind of arrange them in the way that you think looks best and then start layering them down with the adhesive. Once you have that done, then go back and trim off any of the excess strip and we have our card base. And remember to do your stamping before you finish. That way, if you do mess up, you're okay. You can just redo the stamping. Now, of course, if I had forgotten and I went and stamped and it was messed up, I could have just taken another white strip and put it on top of there, but better safe than sorry. There we go. Okay, let me get this out of the way. What are we doing next? We are sticking the base, sticking this to the base. Now, we're just going to have a regular white card base and what and I'm going to use dimensionals on this. And I love this look where you kind of have that just a subtle uh, lift to the card. Okay, let's do this and this. 
and one in the middle just to give it a little support. And I've showed you this trick um, before. This is my, um, where you take a paper piercer to get these backs off and you just stab and lift, stab and lift. And sometimes you have to kind of make sure as you're lifting that it actually catches. There we go. Okay. Now, we're just going to put this on. Wait a minute. My card didn't fold right. Oh, man. Does that ever happen to you guys? You score it and then it doesn't fold right? Oh, well. Now oh, we'll just have to live with it. Nothing's perfect, is it? <laughs> there we go. Okay. There we go. Yeah. So, so far, so good. We definitely need something right here, though. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take from the stamp set this beautiful stocking here. And then from the dies, where are the dies? Mm -hmm. I have some dies around here somewhere. There they are. From the dies, I'm going to take um, some leaves to stick inside the stocking. I'm also going to tie some twine around the stocking. So let me move the card out of the way and let me pull in uh, the stuff we need to make the stocking. Okay. So I just have a scrap here of white. Um, that's big enough for the stocking. And then I have the cherry cobbler, which is the color that the designer paper has. And you all know that's the best thing about Stampin' Up! is that all the colors coordinate. <sighs> now, the reason I did that was to get a more fluid uh, look to the ink. The first time I did it, the ink was kind of spotty. And my hot air just kind of makes the, the ink. Now, that looks very dark. Um, Hmm, I'm not sure I want it that dark. Let's do it one more time, just in case. Okay. <sighs> Ooh, I don't think I can. Let's see. <laughs> mm. <sighs> I think this is going to be dark also. Wow, that really is dark. I wonder what it would look like if I did it second time. Yeah, see, that's too light. All right, well, we're going to go with this dark one. It, it all works. It's going to be pretty. It's going to be pretty. All right, let me check this other one because I see that white little spot there. Let's see if this one looks better. Eh, this one has a little blurb there. Ah, oh, goodness. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. <laughs> All right, don't spend time worrying about stuff like that. You'll take forever making your cards. All right, so let me uh, pull this out. Let's see, my crank needs to be on this side. And my plates. Whoops, this is my cutting plate. Try to use one of your plates for cutting. Um, if you'll notice, I have two plates here and one is really cut up where the uh, metal frame cuts into the plastic to cut out the piece. All right, so we have that there. Then we need the stocking that goes on here. You know, y'all can't see very well. Let me turn that a little bit. And I like using adhesive. This little tiny uh, cut and emboss machine does not have a magnetic plate to hold that metal die down. So I'm just gonna use a little um, washi tape here to hold it in place. There we go. And then we put our second layer on. Make our little sandwich. Okay. Oops. Come on, sandwich. Let's not want the sandwich. There we go. And then we just start cranking. I love this little thing. <laughs> and there we go. Done with that. Bring my card back in. Okay. Pull this off. And be careful when you pull that washi tape because when it went through the cut and emboss machine, it really squished it down on the paper and you don't want to accidentally tear it. So that goes with that. All right, now we have this cute stocking here. Isn't that precious? I love that. But it needs something. First of all, we're going to tie some twine around it. Put a little something. How are we doing on time? Ooh, 19 minutes already. My goodness. Okay, and we need our clamping tweezers to hold it because it is very difficult to tie little tiny things with string. Okay. Ooh, I cut way too much. I will. There we go. Okay, pull it up. 
to the cuff of the stocking. Come on. There we go. Ah, oh. yeah, that just makes it a lot easier when you have something to hold. <laughs> hold it still for you while you try to make a bow. This is almost impossible if you don't have a third hand. Almost impossible. Some people can do it. All right, and then we just lift it right up to the cuff there. Remember, hold the loop as you pull the tail through so it doesn't twist. Retighten it, and that looks good, and trim off all this excess. Boy, I really did get a lot extra. There we go. Eh, I might want that a little smaller. There we go. Okay. Oh, I love that. So cute. Now, one more thing that I did. So I cut out some red berries and leaves from the dies, okay? But I was thinking, gosh, it's just all red and green on this card. I mean, that's just a lot of red and green. We need something else. And so I remembered that I have the ephemera pack from the... Um, Expressions and in ink suite. So expressions and in ink comes with these gold foil leaves and uh, berries. It also has these um, adhesive back sequins. And so I pulled out some gold berries instead of red berries. Instead of using these red berries here, I'm using these gold ones. I'm still using the green leaves. Okay, I'm gonna flip my stocking over and adhere these to that. So I just need a little adhesive on here. There we go. And then I'm just gonna put these berries in here. I actually want them to stick up a little higher than that. There we go. And this set. And these leaves. Okay. Oops, come here. Ugh. Little bitty things. <laughs> Nothing's wanting to stick. There we go. All right. Ah, okay, I give. Let's put that there. There we go. And I think what it is is there wasn't enough adhesive for this one. So we'll put another thing of adhesive back here. There we go. And now, there we go. I like that. Woo, come here. There. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay. Ah. We're going to get a dimensional on there before that all comes apart again. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That'll keep it down. Okay, and then another dimensional there. So now our stocking is going to be lifted up. It's got a cute bow. It's got some fun uh, sprigs coming out of the top. We've got our Noel, and we are finished. Voila! What do you guys think? <laughs> So get out those card stri uh, paper strips and start making a bunch of cards today just using up these strips. And of course, you can put them in different directions. You could make your strips go at an angle. You could have some going this way and some going this way. Just um, all kinds of directions you can make your strips. But this was a real simple, easy card. Um, took us 23 minutes, but that's all right. It, um, it can, it, once you get uh, making them and and of course, you don't talk during the whole thing. <laughs> it goes by really quick. You guys, I love y'all so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this morning. I will be back on Wednesday with the uh, card challenge. We are also, don't forget the yeah, my card kit class that's going on right now. The sale on the DSP and the new host code. All right. See you Wednesday. Bye-bye.